Look in my eyes. What do you see? CM Punk's and talks to return to WWE. I got bars for days, man. <laughs> oh, man. What's going on, y'all? Your boy Derek's great here back giving a video. And this time, yep, we're going to talk about it. This new report that is sweeping the internet, sweeping the wrestling landscape that CM Punk is in talks to return to WWE. Dave Meltzer, the wrestling observer himself, uh, broke this news. And let's let's go through it together, shall we? So we have here right on Figure 4 Online, home of the Wrestling Observer, uh, CM Punk in talks for WWE return. The potential of Punk return to the company was addressed by Dave Meltzer in the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Let's go through this. CM Punk intends to return to WWE. What a statement. <laughs> Um, there's been a lot of talk of late regarding the possibility of Punk returning to the company he was with from 2005 until the 2014 Royal Rumble. Damn, he first went there in 2005, that's crazy. Um, our own Dave Meltzer addressed what he's heard from WWE and those close to Punk in the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter. Should I do a Dave Meltzer impression? <laughs> Let's try it. Uh, you know, uh, regarding CM Punk, there is, there, there, there's obviously talks of, there's obviously tons of talk regarding him returning. There's been rumors that he's, that's happening, but those uh, those in WWE have only said that no deal is completed, and those close to Punk have told us that it is his intention uh, to to return. And the two sides are uh, the uh, two sides are in talks. <laughs> Meltzer wrote, um, "WWE will be in Punk's hometown of Chicago on November 25th for Survivor Series." Meltzer noted it would make sense for Punk to return on that show. Despite being fired on September 2nd, Punk continued to be the top merchandise seller for AW last month, according to estimates by Russell Nomics. Damn. He sold more than any other wrestler on the roster, although AW branded merchandise not affiliated with a specific wrestler sold more. Uh, also of note regarding Punk, Dax Harwood recently filed to trademark the name of Punk and FTR's trio name in AW, CMFTR. The filing was submitted on October 5th through attorney Michael E. Dawkins. That's interesting. He why would he trademark CMFTR? Huh. But yeah, man. Phil Brooks. One Bill Phil. He intends to come back to the Fed. WWE. I mean, it's been, you know, the notion talked about ever since he got fired, right? Like honestly, where else did you think him where, where else do you expect him to go, right? To impact. I mean, Impact said, hey, we'd love to have CM Punk, but like Let's be real. It's there's still a certain stigma to impact, and it's like it is the third major wrestling company in North America. It's just like, come on. And he definitely was not going to go to New Japan because New Japan is closely affiliated with AEW, and I don't think they'd want to step on any toes by signing him. So it was basically WWE, or he doesn't come back at all, right? And Punk definitely strikes me as the type of guy who would look at the landscape and be like, I can't let that be my last legacy in pro wrestling you know getting into a fight with jungle boy and then getting fired that's just i can't let that be my legacy that he definitely seems like that type of guy so there's no it's it's a no-brainer that he wants to come to wwe the question has always been does wwe want him would they be willing to deal with the headache because there are it's been reported there are definitely people in the locker room in the corporate structure, who wouldn't want him back? But at, at the end of the day, it is about that bottom dollar, man. And with Punk does come ratings, right? He is a ratings draw, you know. Like he's not—I don't think he's gonna change life in WWE because WWE has been firing on all cylinders right now, man. They're making money, right? The ratings are good, getting you know, all these, you know, big deals, you know, 1.4 billion dollar deals for SmackDown's new TV uh, home on on the USA Network next year. Right, they're gonna be having the Australia show. It's just like they are firing on all cylinders right now, and Punk would just be an extra bonus. He'd be very much low risk, high reward, right? And it's a, it's also kind of funny. Like if this was to go through, it'd be kind of a, the image that AEW and WWE traded CM Punk for Edge. <laughs> it would just kind of be because like. That was the notion that I saw, like, thrown around uh, in terms of AW's backstage reaction is that Edge is coming in as, like, a less problematic CM Punk in terms of, like, being the guy you can go to, you know, wanting to work with the younger talent, all that stuff. It's just, it's just funny. And I definitely think the corporate structure of WWE, 
Punk would not be able to get away with his shenanigans that he got away with in AW. Like, the moment Tony Khan said, it was just like, what did he say? It, one of those press conferences where, like, he said, as Punk is sitting right next to him, CM Punk, you know, is, like, the most important thing in this company. He's my plus delta, is what he said, you know? And Punk sat there with the biggest smile on his face because he knew at that moment he was untouchable. He could do whatever he wanted. And to an extent, he could short of apparently threatening Tony Khan's life. <laughs> so, you know, um, definitely don't think he'll be able to do any of that stuff in WWE. And I personally hope it happens because there's some rich feuds he could have in that company, man. Like him versus Seth Rollins springs to mind. Like that could easily be the main event of night one of WrestleMania, right? So that they both get their main events. You know, Punk, obviously, his big thing has been like, I've never main event at WrestleMania. I should have main event at WrestleMania, which he should. Seth Rollins has also been adamant that I want to main event WrestleMania, which he should. So I'd say give them both main event of night one. Um, that few, there's a ton of history there, right? Obviously with Punk uh, kind of like bringing up the idea of the shield or whatever, right? And then, you know, Seth's gone on record, talked about how much he doesn't want punk back he's a cancer now stay away phil stay away from me forever you know like remember when he said that and obviously seth has been known to like put up he, he's been known to put aside personal feelings right like him and matt riddle had their beef and they put that aside they squashed that beef riddle apologized right and they had a, a feud um him and cody from what it sounds like aren't friends there's like a true rivalry there right i, I believe cody was on the uh, chris van vliet show and he said that you know they flirted with the idea of possibly being, you know, friendly, but it's not going to happen. So they're not friends, and Seth still put him over three times, lost to him three times. And even from what Cody said that, you know, uh, reading in between the lines, when he got hurt, when he tore his peck in Hell in a Cell, or, you know, before Hell in a Cell, and then they did the match, that it sounds like the higher-ups, the company, you know, uh, creative wanted Seth to win, but Seth was just like, nah, let him win, you know, on his way out to rehab and stuff, right? So, like, Seth can obviously put aside how he feels about someone and get business done. I think Seth versus CM Punk would be great, you know, uh, CM Punk, Roman Reigns would be great, the promos, my God, you know, like, there's there's so much, because of how long he's been gone, it's like him going to AEW, fresh crop of talent, right? fresh faces and even some faces that are still there that he you know was around for right so i would definitely dig this i hope it happens um and survivor series in chicago you know i don't know what the main event's gonna be of that maybe it's like a roman reigns match maybe it's a war games match whatever <laughs> the roof would tear off the place man um so let me know what you guys think do you want cm punk to come back to wwe do you think it will happen? Do you think they will reach a deal or will deal or will talks, you know, fall through? Let, let me know what you think B before you go, though. Click that like button, man. Helps out the channel. Subscribe if you haven't already on the road to 300 subscribers on the bigger road to a thousand subscribers. Help a brother out, man. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.